Hi, my name is Christian Lee. I'm part of Earworm, and we're here with. Would you guys like to introduce yourselves? Yeah, we're Howdy. I'm Charlie. I'm Will. We're in San Diego. Yes, we are, and you guys are playing at Space, Space. tonight. Space. Yeah. Yes. And how are you guys doing tonight? Good. Good. We're feeling good. It's nice weather. Just got a haircut. You got some good yeah. food. Supercut. Shout out. Supercuts. <laughs> I don't. I don't support that one. But uh, <laughs> your food, though. Where did you guys? Uh, where did you guys eat at? Oh damn! What's the name? I don't. Super know. Cocina. Oh, Super Cocina. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. That's probably. You guys got a Mexican place. Unreal. Yeah. 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 I approve of that. It's that always on good. deck. It's like our comfort food. Nice of course, yeah. Mile yeah. away. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. And I know right now you guys are on the West Coast part of the tour. How's the tour been for you guys so far? Super good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We did the East Coast like a week ago or so which is always nice. And then we drove like 14 hours yesterday to Tucson. And now we're here, first show in San Diego. Yeah. yeah. It's always nice to come to the West Coast though. I think I like it more than the East Coast. Low key. Yeah. Better weather. Yeah. I agree with that. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Okay. And that's funny too, because I know the last time you guys came here, you guys played at the Soda Bar, which is only like right. a block away from here. I don't want to talk about that show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fair. Okay. Moving on though, <laughs> I to, uh, no, wait, just real no, quick though, <laughs> how does it feel to be back in San Diego though? It's nice, it, it feels good to be back and have some folks out and some nice bands to be with. We sold some tickets which is good, the last time we were here it was pretty dry, mm -hmm. yeah. so it's nice to be back and redeem ourselves. It's good. I feel like every year you guys are getting better, so Word. Thank you. You know, Thank no you. worries about that. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but okay, speaking about like venues though, I know Okay, let me look one up. And I know that, like, you know, you guys reside in Austin. Mm -hmm. And so what are, like, how important venues are, like, Cheer Up Charlie's? Yeah. You know, that's a spot. That's yeah. a great name. And then, like, even places like Stubbs BBQ. Right. Like, yeah. how are those places, like, important Stubbs. to you guys? Yeah, I mean, you know, we came up playing Cheer Up Charlie's a lot. Um, there's a lot of venues that serve a young bands really well. And then as you move up, there's great places to play as well. Stubbs is great. Um... I actually got banned from Stubbs one time at a Dr. Dog show, which is the lamest show. But I was acting all rowdy and got kicked out of the gig. So, kind of shout out Stubbs. There, yeah. I know, I know. I'm done with Stubbs. No, no I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Stubbs, wonderful. Big spot. Great spot. There's a lot of great places that nurture a lot of music in Austin, for sure. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Okay, and uh, moving on to my next question too, you know, you guys are playing at Space right now, you guys played pretty much most of like uh, the U.S. so far, mm -hmm. and so I wanted to ask like, what do you guys usually request on like your hospitality right here? Anything? Oh yeah, like bananas, uh, beer, some seltzer cold, water, some cold beer, some, some seltzer water, some hummus. We started doing some like some sandwich stuff, like we get like organic turkey and avocado and, and sourdough bread, yeah. and with some arugula, till we have that pre sound check meal on deck. Whether or not we get it is a point. Of right. Mm. It's true. It's fair. It's true. Okay. And then I've noticed too, you know, you guys have Nick Dorian and <laughs> Caroline Says as your openers, and I know, you know, at least on the top of my head, I know Caroline Says, you know, you guys played with them before. Right. So how, you know. Why, what made you decide to bring those two bands and you know, go on tour with you? For sure. Um, well, we love Caroline. She's a fellow Austinite. Um, we've been playing with her and her band for a while. And she's actually joined Howdy as the fifth member live. Mm -hmm. um, and so that was, it all just kind of made sense for her to join uh, with Caroline Says as well and to play in our band. Uh, uh, Nick Dorian is a wonderful a West Coast artist from San Diego and now lives in LA. Um, Charlie has a Good reference point. It's like Anderson Pock meets Randy Newman. Yeah, straight up. Yeah, yeah I, lo I love his music and like felt right to have a West Coaster out on tour with us on the West Coast. That's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, and then uh, let's talk about your latest album too, and especially the song Cathedral because you guys actually dropped that song on my birthday. Nice. Which was pretty August sick. August 8th? I think yes. I remember. Did nice. you comment? Then it was your birthday or something? I, I didn't know it was someone else. Yeah. But it might have yeah. been me too. <laughs> I, I thought, I remember some sort of birthday lining up with this. Right. This For the sake of the interview, let's say it was me. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Happy summer birthday. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. But, uh, so like, what was the, like, how do you guys feel about, you know, the process of making heavy lifters compared to, you know, like, cranberry and taster? Mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, it was kind of honestly a pretty different process. You know, we, we brought in a producer, co-producer, uh, our buddy Ben Little John, and he played all over the record and like helped us record everything. Whereas the on, on the other records, me and Will did everything ourselves. But uh, for this one, we like brought in our homie, and he like is super pro. We still did it like at home, so we weren't like in a studio. But yeah, we didn't mix it, and uh, we're able to just kind of like focus on uh, the performance and just like being being creative and uh, you know experiment. And so that it was it was really like free and like more efficient process, and we made the record like probably, much faster. Yeah, yeah t two three times faster than we made cranberry. So. Yeah. It's true. It's true. We, we took way too long on Cranberry. And it was fun to do a sh like a quick album. For yeah. Sure. Hey, still a solid record. Though. Shout Thank out you. Ben. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Ben. Yeah. All right. And then, uh, you know, let's move on to the second part of the interview. I just have like some, you know, like fun little personal questions for the sure. both of you. Cool. Okay. And I'll start off with Charlie. And so, you know, I've noticed like throughout your albums and like even your past band, Chipper Jones, you know, you've done some baseball references. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And so, like, you know, what's the obsession with you in baseball? I heard, is it true that you actually played, like, college baseball for a year? Yeah, or... I did. Yeah, for a year. All my, I've got, like, one one brother, two stepbrothers. I'm, like, the only one that didn't play four years of college ball. My, my stepbro, Drew, played. He's a pitcher for the Tigers. It's just, it's like, just a, it's a deep, Pretty wild. it's a deep thing for me and my fam. And, I, yeah, I love baseball. I just, like, wanted to do music more, so I... I quit and moved to Austin and then just like started again. Yeah. You can't <laughs> escape awesome. it lyrically. Though. Yeah, yeah, but it's it yeah, it runs deep and, and me and Will both come together on the sport thing. We're both like ex sport guys. Right, so, real yeah. quick you know, real side note though, did you guys hear about I think it was Astros? What happened to them? Well, yeah, there's some cheating scandal going on, right? Yeah. Wait, what's up? It's like I guess they were doing like uh, like signals. So that way they so knew like when they people would yeah, they read the signals, but they used, like, they developed, like, a software. Yeah. Oh, crazy. Damn. Mm -hmm. That's wild. But hopefully you guys are Rangers fans, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we are Rangers fans. So yeah, it works out, sure. though. Yeah. Texas Rangers, shortstop. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. You just dropped a bomb on Charlie. <laughs> yeah, we are Rangers fans, for sure. Well, that's good. Well, at least, yeah. okay, moving on to a lighter topic, though. Right. And so today is actually the San Diego Ramen Festival. Whoa. And I think that's funny because you, is you still or do you like used I to do, work yeah, at a ramen pay, shop? Yeah, pays the bills. Yeah, for sure. When I'm home from tour, I, I work at a ramen shop, Ramen Tatsuya. Great shout out to Ramen Tatsuya. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. Great spot. It's really good. Um, yeah. And a lot, they have like a lot of musicians that work there. They let us leave. Oh, really? On tour. Yeah. Well, that's super chill then. It's a good scene. Yeah, it's good stuff. Cool. All right, and then moving on to Will, I do have a question for you. And this is a little bit of a throwback, and okay. it's actually, you know, I asked Charlie Family related, I might as well right. ask you the same. Sure. So what can you tell me about Mockingbird's Son? Mockingbird's Son, wow. Um, country band from Nashville. My brother, uh, other no longer, RIP Mockingbird's Son. Um, right. My brother played in that band for four or so years. They toured a ton. They really did the road dog thing. Had some nice EPs. Um, but yeah, RIP, you know. I guess it did kind of make this whole thing accessible and digestible for me to approach when uh, because I'd go out I'd go out with them and hang and shoot photos and, and film so it did lay some groundwork yeah, yeah so it was kind yeah. of like the blueprint for you guys yeah, yeah. yeah. Pretty brother, cool. yeah. fair enough <laughs> fair enough Shout yeah to all right Shout and, to big bro. okay and we're gonna go a little bit deeper too and so I'm gonna <laughs> name drop how some can names. you get deeper than Mocky Root so let's see. I don't know let's see I'm gonna I'm gonna say some names and tell me if any of these ring a bell Primal Shift, Gaffney, Taylor and Young. Golly, what the hell? How, this is so deep. Yeah. Well, I'll just choose Gaffney because that's the best Dallas band of all time. So Ben Littlejohn, who produced our record when he was 14, writ, wrote and recorded this entire album by himself, and it still holds up. And, and everything I did when I was 14 is just pure embarrassment. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Hard to shape up. they 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 just ripped. Ben was is and was super instrumental in my just general interest in music. Yeah, um, a real a real prodigy. Yeah, at that point, it was just above everyone, um, and we had some very fun drunk 
16 year old nights together going to gaffing shows and drinking in the alley. But if you're 16, don't drink. Don't drink. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Of course. Mm-hmm. Don't do it. Stay course. safe. Right. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. You're... Yeah, I'm surprised you would... Criminal re- shift. Wow. I'm surprised you were willing to mention Gaffney instead of uh, Taylor and Young, though. Yeah, that, I mean, but I already talked about Brett. It. I mean, I already talked about Brett. Um, That's true. But, but, but criminal shift is Will Conklin. Oh, damn. It's so wild. That's... Wow. That's a good dig. So, like... So how and why did you dig those? That's so wild. I thought, you know, it'd be fun for you guys. Yeah, it's like true. That. It's true. All right, and we have one last question. Okay. And this is actually a question submitted from a fan. Cool. And sorry, Charlie, but this one's specifically for Will. And so this person asks, is it called Abercrombie or Ambercrombie? Aber. Abercrombie? Okay. And that's from someone named Molly Birch. <laughs> Is there, oh my, okay, that's an inside joke. Okay. Can you tell me some context this, this behind is that? It's crazy. Um, there's a joke. So Molly Birch is a performer and a singer and a songwriter out of Austin who's doing really well. Um, she's putting a Christmas album out tomorrow. So check oh, that out. tomorrow? Yeah. Um, but there's a joke that her partner and bandmate used to claim he was an Abercrombie and Fitch model to score attention from people. Um, and when she described the story, she said, Amber Crombie. And I was like, what? What is, Amber. what's Amber Crombie? That's so funny. It is funny. Do you know Molly? Huh? I what actually interviewed her about? before. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool girl. That's, yeah, yeah. She's legit. All right. And actually, I lied. There's actually one more question because I just remembered this. And I've been having this debate at work. And so we've been having this debate and like there's this, we have a coworker from Texas. Okay. And he's saying that, in authentic, like when you're making authentic chili, there's no beans. What do you guys think? Oh gosh! Damn, we had this conversation with. Really, you guys had this conversation with, too. With, with Andrew, yeah, our drummer, oh, and he's oh like, he's God. like, this is the shit that keeps me up at night. Um, I think it, it, anything goes, but I, I do see that like the meat only chili is some true like Texas chili. It's a traditional. But I like I like it all. But do you don't you don't you don't know chili until you've had a white bean chili. That shit's wild. White bean chili, that does sound well. It's really good. Um, Chicken chili. Texas Chili Parlor in Austin has the whole lineup. But I think it's old school. It's beanless though. No, they have a white bean. Oh, wow. It's damn good. Love chili. Yeah, shout out to chili. Shout out chilies. Shout out to chilies too. <laughs> <laughs> All this right. is so this is so fun. What the hell? <laughs> All right, and you know I don't want to end this interview on like you know talking about chili, so I'm just gonna get out of the frame. You guys look into the camera if the lights don't blind you. And is there anything you guys want to plug or anything you guys want to say? No. We're Howdy. Follow us at, at Howdy. H O V V D Y. We have a new record called Heavy Lifter out yeah. now. Thank you, San Diego. Sunny, Southern California. Bless. 